All right, now we can move on to number four, which is starting with your own asset or custom size. So, so far we've done um, using templates. We've done, talked about creating from scratch. We talked about the plus sign. And again, the plus sign is great. If you know a custom size you wanna create based on some requirement that's not a standard size, you can go into that custom size and tweak it and make it what you need it to be. Or you can just upload media and start from that. Now, when I say upload media, what are my options? Well, let me show you here. Let me get out of this for a second. I, I hit the plus sign to do it, but you also have the option to start here where it says start with your content. So you can use photos, videos, or files. And when we say files, like PDFs, you can even start with a PDF file, which a lot of people have already, and use that as your foundation. So I'm gonna click this box to go find, and notice it's showing me a Photoshop document. I, I have an Illustrator file here I can use. I also have a PDF that's both tall and wide. Let's use a wide one this time, because I think the last one we did was tall. And we'll just go ahead and open it. My PDF has been converted and it's saying it's ready to open. It gave me a preview of it over here and this PDF is actually from Adobe InDesign as a template because I like the template in InDesign, but I wanted to give it away to people on Express, my, my, my sister, for example, and let her be able to edit this. So I basically made it a PDF. Now she would be able to open this in Express and use this template. And it didn't come in as a static graphic. These are all removable, customizable, and changeable. So, and deletable. <laughs> so for example, it's giving me this big box for where my images would go, and I'm just gonna delete that box. I don't need to be told that. And it's also got kind of a busy background. I'm gonna make it a little less busy by deleting some of these swatches of color. I don't need to delete them all. I just wanna kinda not have it be so busy in the background, I kind of like the yellow. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. And we'll leave it there. All right, so now I made it a little less busy. And it's, instead of a grand sale, it's actually, double click, grand opening sale. Now, oh God, it's too big. It's taking up too much room. It's overlapping. Don't panic. Just simply select everything, or at least the grand opening sale part, and just simply, Make that smaller, grand opening sale. I just keep holding down, I just hold down the negative sign on the, on the point size until it got small enough. Now I could also expand it so that I can, and this 50% off, I'm gonna move down to the next line. I can expand it to make it bigger and just go that way as well now that I made the box bigger. All right, so I got what I wanted to say. I don't like this 50% off font matching the same font. So let's go ahead and change that. So first of all, it's 50% off, not all whatever that is, because it's my template now, it's my, my store. It's 50% off uh, all um, dresses. All right, we'll, we'll say dresses. <laughs> this is gonna be a fashion store. All right, so 50% off all dresses, and then I can go ahead and highlight that, and I could change it to a different font. This time I'm actually just gonna pick a font instead of uh, using the suggestions. Uh, let's say I kinda like, um, let's go in, I kinda like this this one. Yeah, and eh, maybe not. All right, because again, sometimes I see it and sometimes I don't like it when I see it. All right, use that, that's better. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and make that a little smaller. And keep in mind, you can do everything you learned in number three. You can replace the color, replace the font, so forth and so on. Okay, so basically we started with a PDF. We have now edited that PDF. Now we wanna add something to the PDF. And again, all of this would be changed or deleted to what it needs to be. Um, uh, for example, uh, skirts to, <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad at this, but skirts too. <laughs> skirts. <laughs> let's say. Well, let's let's just say jackets. All right. Uh, now that's too too. The box is too small. So either make the box bigger or the type smaller. Those are usually your two choices. Uh, all right. So now we got jackets. Okay. Only this week. Um, now sometimes because it's a PDF, the word might be broken up into different boxes. So August isn't all in one box. No problem. 
I can get rid of the pieces that are wrong, expand the box out, and change that A to February. All right, and then we'll go ahead and make that smaller. We'll just highlight 29 February and make it small enough to fit. There we go. Okay, so then we have some just sample logos for the sponsors. And of course, you would go ahead and make those either real or delete them if you don't have sponsors. So that's up to you. So let's delete that one. We don't really need major as a sponsor. We don't need brand as a sponsor. We don't need sponsor as a sponsor. And of course, you have other text to change. You get the idea. What I want to get to now is I want to add something. So I'm going to go to media. I can upload from my device. So upload from my, my drive and I can go find. So I've got some pictures of, uh, let's see, I'm gonna uh, add a picture here. This is a JPEG one of, of my model that I photographed. So this is my picture, not Adobe stock. I'm gonna open that in. All right, so now that open that photo. Uh, again, I'm, I'm picking that photo up, I'm moving it around and I want to flip it, which we showed that before. I wanna have her facing the other way. And I also want to uh, remove the background. So let's go ahead and say remove background. Even on my own photo, it doesn't have to be a stock photo. There we are. We've now removed the background and we can now put this where we want it to be. Okay, great. Now, it's cool having her over the text. I need her to be a little smaller over the text. Maybe something like that. And that becomes my content that I started with from scratch it could be an image, it could be a PDF, it could be an Illustrator file, it could be a Photoshop file, it could be a video. Whatever you wanna start with, just go ahead and upload and start and keep designing. You can add elements of your own, just like I uploaded this photo. You can add elements from Adobe Stock, you can add text to image elements, and of course you can remove the background, even on a video by the way, which we'll see, and keep, keep on going. All right, so that's number four, starting with your own content, whether it's your content or a custom size blank page, and then you're gonna put your content on it.